We're standing here at, what's the name of the church? It's Volusia International Bible Fellowship. Yes. And your name, sir? My name is Joe Sanchez. And Mr. Sanchez, you said you're a member here of the church? I've been a member for quite a few years now. We're here with a concert by Lloyd Marcus. I love America. A great guy. I've known Lloyd for quite a few years now. What do you think of the show? Very nice. He knows how to entertain. He's honest. And I love when he tells the story about his dad. Matter of fact, I read his book. He's, he's an extremely genuine uh, gentleman on stage. Uh, he definitely displays and expresses emotion and gets the audience to do the same. Yes, he does. And I think Lloyd, you know, with the help of people that are, uh, especially Christian people, if they can uh, help him out, you know, to go further in what he's doing for America and the uh, Christian community, uh, it would be great. Because as we know, it's, it's, it's not what you know, but it's, it's who you know at times. But he's very talented and he can use all the help he can. Speaking of doing something for the Christian community and helping Lloyd do it, how do you feel about the fact that it seems like everything that gets people's attentions in this country anymore has to do with video games or social media or, you know, quick tweets or, or the latest um, celebrity scandal? What do we need to do in this country to get back to our Christian values? Well, we need to, first of all, we need to get God back into the schools. That's the first thing. And uh, our values have decreased. I mean, this country is in trouble. Uh, it's a country that uh, was founded because of uh, discrimination, and it was a country, it's a republic. Uh, to me, a republic is, uh, you don't need no kings, you don't need no queens. It's, uh, it should be by the people. But uh, God is, uh, we've gotten away from God, and, and that's the main problem. And uh, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I've known Jesus Christ since I was a little boy. And uh, he's my Lord and Savior. And we need him. Um, uh, unfortunately, there's too many atheists in this world. They don't believe, non-believers, and that's why we're in trouble. Well, you know, the interesting part about the first half of Lloyd's show is he tells a story. He tells a story of his own life and how God played a role in it. And he does it without beating you over the head. It seems like he definitely reaches the audience. This is not one of those situations where you have people saying, oh, well, I'm tired of being beat over the head with religion. He does it with music. He does it with stories of his growing up, of his own trials, of his marriage. Do you think that maybe that's the way we reach out and get people to understand this isn't about trying to shove anything down anyone's throat. It's about getting a message that this is what we were founded on. This is what we were built on. And if we don't get back to it, we're definitely going in a handbasket really fast, right? We're going down the sink. And Loy is, is, is a humble person. He doesn't have a haughty attitude. He doesn't patronize you. He doesn't uh, talk to you in a condescending way. He is a human being. He's He's been through a lot, as he told you. He, he, he left New York, as I believe, uh, looking for a better life here. Things didn't go good for him. Uh, I, uh, God had other plans for him. But he's a humble man. He tells it like it, the way it is. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have him as a friend. Is this a show that could actually reach people nationwide? Would people be drawn to listen to him and get a message from him if he could get the support to take this on the road, so to speak? Well, of course. I mean, he sings for the troops, and they love him. I've seen him on tape. I've, see, I've heard him, and uh, he goes to Washington, D.C. Uh, he loves this country. Now, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, I'm a registered Democrat. I've been for the longest. Uh, um, I'm 66 years old. I served my country in Vietnam. I'm a combat, a combat wounded veteran. I'm a former NYPD police officer. 
but uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. It, it, you have to do the right thing. And because if you're a Democrat, if you see that you, your Democratic Party is going the wrong way, I mean, then change. Go the other way. See, 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 see if there's a better way. But pe some people are stubborn. Some Republicans will tell you, I'm a Republican and I don't care what, I'm voting Republican. And that's not the way it should be. You should vote for what the party that you think will do best for this country. There's good and bad in both parties. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Thank you.